Have electric scooters come to your town yet? Around the world, they're a cheap, quick, and fun way to get around. Maybe a little too fun for some people. As Stephen Fabian explains, plenty of trips to the ER and worse are being blamed on e-scooters. They fly down the street at speeds sometimes in excess of 50 miles per hour. They run red lights and can be a source of chaos on crowded city streets. Whoa! Watch what happens to this woman as she tries to exit a bus. She's mowed down by a guy on an electric scooter. She returned here to her husband's hometown. Earlier this month, actress Lisa Baines, best known for playing Ben Affleck's mother-in-law in the movie Gone Girl, was killed while crossing Amsterdam Avenue on New York's Upper West Side. A scooter ran a red light and smashed into the actress. It happened right here. Police say the suspect fled the scene and remains at large. Here's Les Trent. Many critics say e-scooters like this are becoming a dangerous nuisance on congested streets across the nation. So how much havoc are they causing? To find out, we hit the streets of New York City to see for ourselves. In a matter of minutes, we saw scooters blowing through red lights. You just ran right through a red light. What? You just went right through a red light. That's fine. We watched as electric scooters bobbed and weaved in and out of traffic. I almost got killed twice. Susan Dressner says she's scared to walk down the street. You have the electric bikes, you have scooters, and they're going on the sidewalks now. You're not supposed to be on the sidewalk. If they run into me, I'm a goner. The injuries can be catastrophic. Oh ankle fractures, hip fractures, shoulders, um, the bone here, the humerus, skull fractures. We've had neck injuries. Dr. Daniel Murphy runs the emergency room at St. Barnabas Hospital in New York. Just drive around here and it is a free for all. And it's not just city streets. It's happening all across the country with knuckleheads like this riding scooters down crowded highways. Bro, what are you doing? Bro, what are you doing? There's now a call to stiffen the legal penalty for scooter drivers who hit pedestrians and then flee the scene.